we have an awesome new feature in Messiah and it is the Lattice Deformer. So let me just demonstrate that to you by showing you how it, what it affects on this teapot that I've loaded up here. So the first thing you'll need to do is to apply the Lattice Effect Deformer Effect to that teapot and in the lattice deformer there's a lattice deformer setup that you'll need to go to first and you'll need to decide the resolution of your lattice I found 4x4x4 four by four by four to be a good you know fun shape to work with so now it gives you the option to save that lattice and I'm going to do that now just save over the last one that I did and now I'm going to change the lattice's draw mode to edges because so that I can see my fancy lattice that I made. So that's pretty cool so far. Now what we'll need to do is deform that lattice and anything I apply to this lattice will deform it and in turn deform the teapot. So I'm going to add a bone deformer to the lattice and then add a bone and on the left view I'm just going to flip that bone up so it's negative 90 degrees and then move it over so that it's controlling the left side of the lattice then I'm just going to copy that bone and then move the copied bone over to the middle of it and then copy again and that one is going to be over here so now when I move the bone deformer above, I need to make sure that it's the first thing on the list. And I go into animate. Anything I do to these bones directly affects the teapot. Isn't that cool? So it's being distorted by the lattice. So the bones are distorting the lattice, and the lattice is distorting the teapot. So one of the fun things we can do to demonstrate that is we can scale this middle one way down and we can actually move the teapot in and out of the effect. So let's hide everything. Let's hide the lattice and then hide the three bones and we'll just have the teapot and we'll move the teapot in and out of the lattice effect. Pretty wild, huh? We'll turn the lattice back on. And obviously, because we've done it with bones, uh, it's very easy to change what the lattice shape is. And we can move the teapot through and make it like squish through a warp thing. Maybe we can play with it and scale this middle bone on its X. Or. And so now, when we move the teapot through, it kind of goes warp, fits through the little hole and squeezes back out. Cool, huh? So that's how the lattice works in Messiah 4.